Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Since 1999, Milwaukee Empty Bowls has been using art and food to raise money to feed the hungry. This year, they've gone virtual, but don't worry, there's still soup. Here to explain is April Clinter, the board president and event chair. Hi, April. Good morning, Molly. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I think a lot of people are going to be relieved because this is a very popular event to hear that they're still going to be able to get their art and still be able to get their soup. Yeah, it's it's been we pivoted. It's been very um, different for us planning it and trying to figure out how to accomplish it, but it's still coming. So we are uh, we are happy to say that there are about fifteen hundred bowls available, which is a little less than we would normally have at our in person event, but still quite a few. And you will be able to get those at outpost stores, all locations, uh, the Potter Shop in Waukesha, Wood Harvest out in Pewaukee. Or you can stop at uh, in West Dallas at Queen City Club. Wonderful. I like that there's so many different locations. I want to make sure that I mention both your Facebook page as well as your website, because this is where people are going to find details. You just mentioned where people can get a bowl, but they're going to wonder, right. where can I pick up my soup? How can I take part in it? Yeah, so this, the, we have 27 locations for soup. And, and so instead of naming them, please just go to our website. Uh, or our Facebook page, we have a downloadable um, PDF on our website so you can take it with you if you want. It's www.MilwaukeeEmptyBowls.org, that's O-R-G, or, and uh, you can go out there and you can see not only all the soup stops, but the bowl stops as well. See, that's wonderful. I think that's fantastic that people are still going to be able to get the, all that information. I'm also, also interested to know what the need is currently in our community and if it's maybe changed because of everything going on this year. So it's been it's been a different year. So what, what I like to um, remind people of is, you know, there's people that are using food pantries and meal programs right now that probably have never done so in the past. So we got some facts uh, to use in our publications from the Hunger Task Force, and basically they've seen about a 30% rise in the use of food programs and meal pantries in Milwaukee. Uh, they estimate about one in four kids right now are going to bed hungry, and we're looking at probably in the neighborhood of 34,000 people a month uh, using those programs. It's so hard to think about people, children, uh, perhaps especially, but anyone going to bed hungry. So I appreciate how critical the need is. On October 11th, you are going to have a Facebook live event. What's happening as part of that? So we're going to get together a small panel of people that would normally have been at the physical event. And they're going to talk about what the impact is to the recipient organizations. So those pantry, food pantries and meal programs what the uh, impact has been to our restaurant partners because you know they've they've supported us throughout the years so we're trying to to communicate what's going on with their um business and how we can help them what's going on with our, our local artists and the potters that make all that pottery that we that we get these beautiful bowls we put out for everyone and then we're going to talk a little bit with msoe uh who's a standing partner of ours about how they do work in the community and what their students are doing to try to help I love that because part of it is the art um, with the bowls. When when you've been here in the past, I cannot get over how beautiful some of them are. And I think well, you can't you can't eat soup out of that bowl. It's just too gorgeous. But as we look at an artist uh, spinning one of the bowls, I thought maybe you could talk about that because I understand you have a few of them there in front of you. I do. So I went out this weekend and I actually my friend and I, we, we did uh, six soup stops and four bowl stops. <laughs> so we managed to manage to stock up for a few days. I got this really great one out at Outpost. Oh. On State. And it has, I don't know if you can see it, it has the little state of Wisconsin on the front of it. And it looks like a block of cheese. It like does. Like That's bowl. hilarious. I love that. Yeah, so I just got that one. There's also some people always covet these. These are the wood bowls that we get from the Wisconsin wood turner. You, you, you have to still search just like you would at the event, but you can find these out there in some places. And then there's other oops, there's other bowls out there that are just really unique and beautiful. Oh, yeah, and I love that. Every bowl speaks to somebody. And I think the really important thing is to note someone made this. And so when you feel it, it's like you feel the actual like spirit of the potter in the bowl, right? It's different than a bowl that you buy because, from the store because it's, somebody put their energy and their efforts into something like this. So it really is a treasure. 
Yeah, I think so too. And that's why it's so great to not only have this wonderful, delicious soup as we see people enjoying it, but also to be able to keep the bowl. You can use it for so many things, whether it's putting a little Halloween candy in there, use it again for soup or cereal, or even just as a beautiful piece of art. I want to just talk through real quick because we ran out of time the timeline because the event virtual time frame is until the 14th um, of this right. month. So that's when people can buy the bowls at the places you mentioned. They can pick up the soup. There's the virtual event that you mentioned on the 11th. There are going to be surprises and giveaways. Um, and then the soup stops are where people actually go and get the soup offerings um, to right. put in their bowls. So just to make sure that people aren't confused, you do not need to take your bowl with you to get your soup. You would just go to the soup and, and purchase soup uh, from that restaurant like you normally would, either to go, you can dine in if you want, but you can get it to go to take home and then use your bowl for your at-home celebration. I'm glad that you mentioned that. Thank you so much for clearing. It was wonderful clarifying. It was wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, and I hope it's another big success this year because people look forward to it. I know. Thank you, April. So again, Milwaukee Empty Bowls runs through Wednesday, October 14th. To find bowls and soup, you can visit their website, milwaukeeemptybowls.org. And don't forget to share your experiences with hashtag MEBHome. And finally, join Milwaukee Empty Bowls on Sunday, October 11th at 11 a.m. for that live Facebook event we mentioned. There will be surprises and lots of giveaways too.